So a lot of MD PhD programs are fully funded, which means that both the PhD and the MD is completely paid for. So this question basically asks if that's the case and you get to do both degrees for free, then why don't more people do the MD PhD route and they're not obligated to continue doing research after the dual degree so they can just be a practicing doctor and they'll be completely debt free. And if that's the case, why aren't more people just doing that? I like this question because sometimes people think that it is actually a good idea to get an MD PhD for the sole purpose of being able to do the MD for free, but that's really not the case. One of the biggest reasons that people cite is the years of lost wages because you're going to become an attending and make an MD salary so much later than your peers. Instead of finishing the medical school degree in four years like your MD counterparts, MD PhD students will spend upwards of eight or even nine years sometimes to finish the dual degree. Not to mention there's still residency afterwards and so you're not making an attending salary until you're probably in your mid-30s. Someone broke this more down on like White Coat Investor and I saw a link the article below. All that is to say financially, I don't think MD PhD students are necessarily ahead. Plus is four more years of living like a grad student compared to my med student classmates. And secondly, and I think this is actually the more important reason why you shouldn't do an MD PhD if you're not into the research aspect, and it is that a PhD is not just more of undergrad, it's not just more classes. You're kind of like working a research job and you can't graduate until you find something new to contribute to your field. So if you don't like doing research and the reason that you're doing an MD PhD is to get a free MD, it's not going to be fun for you. For the PhDs who do like doing research, sometimes it's not even fun for us. So yes, while hypothetically you could just forget all of your PhD training after the MD PhD, which a lot of people do to be fair, but if you already know, even prior to starting a program, that you do not want to touch the PhD aspect after training, it's just not worth it to do it. 